Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from this topic of integration. And in this question, we have been told to find the value of the integral of e raised to x into x minus 1 upon x plus 1 the whole cube into dx. So we have to find the integral of this entire expression which is given to us. Let's understand how do I solve this. So if I try to solve this expression, I can write this entire expression as e raised to x into x upon x plus 1 the whole cube and minus 1 upon x plus 1 the whole cube. Dx. Now what I can do here is I can make my numerator for the first expression same as the expression of the denominator. So in the denominator, if I see it is x plus 1 the whole cube. So if I want to make it as in the form of x plus 1, I will add 1 here. If I add a 1, I will have to subtract a 1 here. So I am adding and subtracting 1 on both sides. Now I am left with integral of e raised to x in this becomes x plus 1 upon x plus 1 the whole cube. So I can cancel one term. So it remains x plus 1 square minus 2 upon x plus 1 the whole cube. Dx. Further, I can write this as integral of e raised to x. This is 1 upon x plus 1 the whole square minus 2 upon x plus 1 the whole cube dx. Now if I want to write it in frame of e raised to x, that is e raised to x into f of x plus f dash of x dx. We already know for this the integral answer is e raised to x into f of x plus a constant c, which is our integration constant. So now let's try to frame our entire question into this form first. So if I write this, let's say if I put f of x as the first expression, which is 1 upon x plus 1 the whole square. So I can write this as x plus 1 raised to minus 2. And we already know if I take the derivative of this, so derivative of x raised to n is nothing but n into x raised to n minus 1. So you get here minus 2 x plus 1 raised to minus 2 minus 1. So you get minus 2 into x plus 1 raised to minus 3. So you get it here as minus 2 upon x plus 1 the whole thing. So we have here, we have put this entire expression as f of x. And this entire expression comes out as f dash of x. So now I can write my entire expression as integral e raised to x into it was 1 upon x plus 1 the whole square plus minus 2 upon x plus 1 the whole square. Right? So this was our entire question which was there. If I write it in that format of e raised to x into f of x plus f dash of x dx, I can write my answer here as e raised to x into f of x plus c. So my answer becomes e raised to x 1 upon x plus 1 the whole square plus c. So this is our answer for the question which is asked to us. So our answer becomes for the question. That was integral of e raised to x into x minus 1 upon x plus 1 the whole cube dx. The answer for this expression comes out as e raised to x upon x plus 1 the whole square plus c. So this is the answer. And if you see the option that matches your with the question is a. So a is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us. So what I did was, first of all, we separated this numerator x and minus 1 with the denominator x plus 1 the whole cube. 
just added one and subtracted one so that one of the expression gets cancelled here from the first part. I put this as f of x. This gave me f dash of x. That is the derivative of this entire expression. And then we use just this idea. d raised to x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equal to d raised to x into x plus. That gives me the answer as d raised to x into 1 upon x plus 1 to x square plus c. Right? And the correct answer for the question is solution. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions of integration. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the creation of JWE. Thank you.